We've really found over time that transitioning into the hospital setting is almost as important as transitioning out. Entering into a hospital stay when you're feeling terrible is um, a very vulnerable place for people to be. The Care Transitions Program uh, has two primary goals. One is to reduce um, unnecessary and unplanned readmissions and to improve the patient experience. Each service within the Care Transitions Program has a unique way of looking at how do we get to those goals. So we're working specifically with our local safety net provider. Uh, every morning, we figure out who's been admitted the previous day, and we notify all of those clinics of the admission and invite them, essentially, to uh, participate in the hospital stay, provide us with information, um, invite them to contact us, uh, help us with that medication reconciliation piece, help us with uh, information about individuals' families or other sorts of social um, issues that may be a part of their care and would affect their discharge. We also notify them when they're discharged. So we're trying to decrease kind of the siloed feeling of what happens in the hospital and really get a better understanding that there are many things that led up to the hospitalization and there are many things that will happen after hospitalization. How can we do better together? If they're discharged without home health or hospice, we will then uh, contact them and offer a free follow-up home visit. We consider it a part of the hospital stay. And we be begin more significant coaching activities there. We focus in on um, activities that are specific for their diagnosis. So for example, if they have heart failure, we're gonna be talking with them about what is heart failure? What does that mean? Why is it important to take your weight when you have heart failure? Uh, why is it important to write that down and to take that to your provider? In addition to notifying them when patients are being admitted or discharged, we have read-only access to their uh, medical records. So we're able to, when we identify somebody who's a member of that safety net clinic, we're able to go in, read the information, and then extend that information to the hospital staff. There are still people in our community who are shocked when they go to the hospital, and the hospitalist is their provider and not their primary care provider. So learning that as a community that we needed to do a better job of communicating how healthcare works, I think has been a, an accomplishment and we're working, continuing to work on that end.